welcome back um, my grade 12 learners we are on electricity tariffs where we are going to look at uh, different types of uh, these electricity tariffs how to calculate them and how we are going to score marks as far as the topic of electricity tariffs is concerned remember a tariff is defined as a charge per unit and in this context now we are going to deal with a charge per kilowatt hour of electricity this is exactly what we are going to deal with here therefore i just want us to quickly get into it and see if we can have enough time to work out some examples as far as the topic is concerned um, I want us to look at question one in this case where we have got the table below indicates the tariffs of Mfuleni local municipality for 2017-2018. Now, we have got this uh, tariff table here, which I always emphasize that you need to study the table properly. You need to have a closer look at the table, understand each and every aspect that is given on the table that would actually assist you in scoring more marks as far as the topic is concerned now i just want us to have a quick review as far as the tariff and how it works the the, the tariff table and how it works um, in this case i just want us to look at the first thing which i highlighted was that we have got all tariffs are vet are vet exclusive in this case, we have got VAT exclusive, meaning to say that there is no VAT in those tariffs. And the next thing is that we have got blocks there, which means we have got block one, two, three, four blocks. Then after that, in this side here, we have got this, which is the, which is the tariff. This is the what? That's the tariff in this case, or the tariffs. That is the amount per kilowatt hour or the charge per kilowatt hour. And this column here is going to show us the, what, the usage in this case. How much uh, electricity is used or how much maximum can we get from the first block. So looking at block one, looking at block one, we have got zero to 50 kilowatt hours where we are going to have the a maximum of 50 kilo kilowatt hours that we can get in that block and if we go to block 2 it's going to be 51 to 350 so what is the maximum we get in that block it's going to be a 300 a 300 that's what we're going to get there and how do we get this 300 we're going to take we're going to take the 350 and we subtract that with the 50 and we're going to get a 300 there which is the maximum that we get in that block as i have said in the beginning that this one is going to be 50 and that one is 300 now going to the next one it's going to be 351 to 600 that is the range from 351 to 600 no, now in this case it means you're going to take the 600 and you subtract the the 350 and there you're going to get that so that is what we're going to have there in that in, in, in that in that block then in block four anything that is above 600 is going to be put in that block four now going to the column of the tariffs tariffs a charge per unit a charge per kilowatt hour in this context now you're going to have 0 0,8375 which is 83 uh, almost 84 cents per kilowatt hour the next one is almost 94 cents per kilowatt hour then the third one in block three is going to be one rand and 26 cents and the block four one rand and 52 or 51 cents meaning to say that if we look closely into that they are basically increasing from block one to the next block is actually increasing this is exactly what we call um, what we call stepped we call that a, st a, st a stepped what stepped tariff we call that a stepped tariff we call that progressive progressive tariff 
progressive tariff. That is what we have there. Or the most popular one, we're going to call that the what? The sliding scale. The sliding scale. Many of you say that from block one it's increasing to block two. So the more you use, if you look at that one there, if you look at that one over there, we are now going to say the more you what? If you look at this, if we look at this, this is the more we use and the more we're going to pay. 50 is going to be that. And it's increasing into that. Now it's going up as well. So the more we use that, the more we pay. Now, I want us to go to the next, uh, to the question where we have got uh, a five mark question there. How much, how much, that means we need the cost. Will Tabo pay for 350 kilowatt uh, hours of electricity? How much will Tabo pay? That is what we're going to need to do in, in, in this case here. And the second question is, if that is charged at 15%, how much will Tabo pay in total? Remember, it was that exclusive. Now we're going to calculate 350. And how do we calculate 350 in my great problem? As the first step, remember, we're going to go to block one. In block one, you take, for example, you're going to take block one, let me say there, you're going to take in block one 50. That is the maximum. You multiply that by the tariff on the other end, which is 0, 0,83 uh, watt watt. And also, we're going to get a 0, 0,83. Uh, then we, after that, we equate that and we're going to get the answer on the other side. Then we go to the next block. In block two, how many can we get in block two? We can get a maximum of 300. So it's 300 multiplied by, multiplied by the what? Multiply the tariff, which is this. That is the tariff that we're going to take there. Then we equate that and we're going to get our answer. After getting our answer, we add the total there in what? In rands. And what, you got, what we're going to get over there is the amount that is going to be uh, charged for electricity. That is going to be charged for electricity. Then after that, it was VAT inclusive. Now we're going to need to include the what? The VAT by multiplying there by 115 over over 100 then we, we, we're gonna get the vet and generally we are saying you have scored the seven marks there by using a step tariff progressive or sliding scale in your calculation there and that is what we have now the next question that we're gonna we, we have over there is just gonna be um, Marcel stays in Bethlehem and she uses prepaid prepaid we said it's pay before you use. Uh, the tariff for prepaid electricity are what? Now we are given there a tariff table for that. And in this tariff table, I just want to quickly explain again so that you can understand it better. Then after that, you can do uh, some of the activities by yourselves. Remember, as far as this table is concerned, you need to take note. In this context, they are saying a uh, prepaid electricity including VET. So VET is there already. So you don't need to go and calculate VET at the bottom because whatever you want to use there is including VET already. So we have got block one, we have got block two, we have got block three, and we have got block four. So block one is zero to 50. So we're going to get a maximum of 50 over there. And we've got 350, uh, 51 to 350. So we're going to get 300 kilowatt hours there. Uh, we go on to block three, it's going to be the same. This is more like the same block that we have. The only difference now is that we have got including VET in this context. And if you look at the tariffs on the other side, if you look at all these tariffs, they are actually increasing. They are actually increasing. That is what we call the stepped tariff or the progressive tariff in this context. So now you were asking now, um, show, show that, can you prove to us that the cost of 45 kilowatt hours is actually 35 rand and 94 cents. Can you prove to us that the cost of uh, 45 kilo, kilowatt hours is 35 rand and 94 cents? So what I'm gonna do now, the first thing you're gonna find out that our 45 kiloliters falls in the first block because in the first block we can get a maximum of, of 50 kilowatt hours. but we are going to notice that in that block there, 
if we take 45 we can take 45 and simply multiply that um, that is 45 we have got a 45 there 45 that's what we need and the maximum is 50 in that but we can take that 45 there and multiply that by the tariff multiply that by the tariff meaning to say that in this case we are just going to we are going to to take that we take that 45 there and we multiply that by the tariff what is the tariff we took the tariff in the block one which is zero comma seven nine eight six so that is what we have there then we get our answer there and surely our answer is going to be a 35 rand what and 94 cents so that is what we have then the next question is going to be one one two two calculate the cost of maricel's electricity if she uses 240 kilowatt hours of electricity during a particular month so now we need to go to 250 it's a five mark question where do we start we're going to start from the 50 you take the 50 you go you multiply that by the tariff there meaning to say that we're going to take this 50 kilo this 50 kilo then we multiply that by by the tariff over there then after that we're going to go to the next block where we're going to multiply we're going to get the maximum the maximum in block two in block two which is going to be a 350 minus the 50 then what do we get the answer we get which is 300 we multiply that by that and we multiply that one by that day. but if you notice that the amount of kilo what hours we need is 240 now we are going beyond 240 how do we go about that in order to check that i just want us to quickly look at the at the memo as far as this one is concerned there where we're going to have um the first one the first one the first one it's um the fif first 50 kilo kilowatt hours multiply by the tariff get the answer then after that after that we go to the next block in the next block as i've showed you now that if we take the maximum of 300 in block two we are going to go beyond the amount of uh, units that are required so we're gonna now say the amount we need the amount we need in this case which is our 240 kilowatt hours uh, subtract that with the one we have which is going to be our 50 and we're going to get there a one 190 kilowatt hours then this 190 is the one that we're going to put over there then after that we multiply that by the tariff with our block two then after that we get the answer then we add the two and uh, and get the answer there which is our 244 rand and um, 28 cents now maybe just to have a quick look as um, just to familiarize you uh, my grade 12s as far as this electricity tariff is concerned i just want to we are not going to uh, probably go deep with the questions uh, but we are going i'm going to uh, familiarize you with the tariff table and how you can actually move from the tariff table for you to be able to answer the to answer the questions now the first thing that we have here is actually mr Am amorti studied his electricity his electricity bill and saw that he used 690 kilowatt hours of energy for the previous month for the previous month now we are given the electricity tariff for the flats of houses there we have got a residential prepaid then we have got a proposed sense this is now in sense and it's that inclusive that is the first aspect you also need to to change in this case you, we, we we have got sense when you have got sense how do you convert the sense to rands you need to know that you divide that by what you divide that by 100 so that is the most important aspect in this therefore it needs to be divided at the end uh, of your 
of, of, of your calculation or even if you divide on the tariff still it will work number two you are also given the the vet inclusive which is the service charge and also the capacity charge which is vet inclusive as well so we have got these two amounts there these are service charge per month that's per month per month and also capacity charge per month meaning to say that these two values it's a must it's a must that they must be paid they must be paid this mr amorti is mandated to pay those two values so whatever calculation you're going to get there the two values must be added because it is a must because they are basically they are basic charges that needs to be paid each and every month whether mr amorti was at home in december or not but the service charge the capacity charge must be paid uh, uh, as far as this table is concerned so uh, my grade 12 learners i think i've managed to show you how we move or how we work um, as far as an electricity tariff is concerned please i want you to remember that um, the electricity tariff and the water tariff they basically work hand in hand in the sense that they use the step tariff they use the progressive and the sliding scale of billing meaning to say that the way you calculate a water tariff it is the same way you do on an electricity tariff so i want you to not to forget that keep on um, working and keep on uh, managing to study the tables properly and to understand the blocks that you have and also the tariffs that you have remember the definition of our remember the definition of a tariff whereby you're going to have to put it into the context given if you are dealing with an electricity tariff it is a charge per kilowatt hour of electricity in this case a charge per kilowatt hour of electricity which mr amorti uses in that month in a nutshell i just want to keep on um, showing you that don't forget to add these service charges these capacity charges and these basic charges in your calculations i wish you all the best my grade 12 learners i hope you have managed to understand this um, let's keep on working and see you next time thank you very much